What's going on, everybody? It is April 14th, Saturday, and uh, I'm flying solo this morning. Jake's got the day off, so I'm going to take a look at just the main slate for MLB. Um, just not enough time today to, to be able to get to the early slate along with the, the playoff basketball, which that video is already out. So we're gonna I'm going to hit on, I'm so used to saying we for this, uh, I'm going to hit on just the six main slate games. Um, if the early slates would have been similar on drafting the FanDuel, I would have probably touched on them. But FanDuel's got the two extra, I think, four o'clock games in there. So it just gets all wonky. Uh, so just six games. I'm going to just work my way through uh, some of my thoughts. We'll throw all of the projections into Cruncher and we'll see what gets spit out. But a good night yesterday uh, for those that came on to the live stream. Uh, Having a little issue with Fantasy Cruncher, so I switched over to just one lineup in everything that I had, and it ended up going really, really well for me. So, yay for uh, the, the perils of Fantasy Cruncher. Um, one quick plug to start, uh, not related to baseball. If you go to fanduel.com slash awesomeo, we are uh, partnering up for a, a single game contest for just the Pelicans-Blazers game tonight. So if you're interested... Um, it's just the single game contest against myself, you know, everybody that enters as well, uh, but myself, Chris Spaggs, my live uh, co-host, uh, Jake, uh, the general co-host for baseball, Osimo himself, and if you are able to beat Osimo in the contest, um, three people that beat Osimo will randomly be selected for uh, a free entry to a FanDuel contest. So come check it out, compete against us, try to take me down. And, you know, have some fun. Uh, win the tournament if you can. That's my plug. Again, fanduel.com slash awesomeo is where you'd like to go. I'll have a link to the contest as well in the show notes. So let's dig in. First game up, Marlins and Pirates. Uh, Marlins, 3.4 run implied total. Pirates, 4.3. That's a 60% chance to win for the Pirates. Uh, Trevor Richards going for Miami. Jamison Tylon going for the Pirates. Um, this is normally where I kick it over to Jake, and he uh, gives some very in-depth statistical breakdown of uh, who he's looking at. Not the same thing for me today. Uh, I'm not looking at all at Trevor Richards, particularly on FanDuel. Um, you know, he grades out value wise as someone that looks okay on DK but that's not necessarily the case um, you know 40% chance to win for the Marlins uh, he's not a bad pitcher I like him I just I don't necessarily think that he's the the way to go today there are two pitchers um, that I'm very interested in on DK uh, but on FanDuel uh, Jamison Tylon looks great uh, I like the top three pitchers on FanDuel a lot uh, Tylon Richards and Hill so I'm gonna okay two wait how many there's three there's a the Garrett Richards going today Clayton Richard going today and Trevor Richards going today so a lot of dicks that's a terrible joke I should have I should have tabled that one I'd edit it out but I don't edit anything so <laughs> you guys gotta live with it I'll have to say first names though so this doesn't get super confusing I don't have a ton of interest in Trevor Richards um, that's just too far down for me, and I don't see a ton of upside. Although, uh, you know, the Pirates aren't necessarily the, the most scary order ever. Uh, the 3.4 run implied total for the Marlins um, doesn't lead me to a situation where I think Richards has a ton of upside. Um, I'm perfectly fine with Tylon on FanDuel. He is the most expensive pitcher at 9,200. Uh, I think he grades out well. I like him a lot. Um, you know, the implied total for the Marlins is really appealing, and uh, it's a very nice opportunity to pick up a win. So I like him a lot more on FanDuel. He's not someone that I would uh, be going after on DK. Uh, 12000 is a pretty healthy price point, $2,300 more expensive than Rich Hill. Um, it's possible that Tylon needs to be owned a little bit more just to make salaries work on a six-game slate. That's something we'll, uh, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, when we throw everything into Cruncher. Uh, but for me, Tylon is a, a much better option on FanDuel. Uh, 
as far as Marlins bats go, uh, I don't see a ton that I would want to really touch. Um, Justin Bauer is someone that you can get away with using in a one-off scenario. Uh, 2,400 on FanDuel, 3,000 on DK, you know, lefty-righty matchup. But with the 3.4 run implied total, which is uh, third worst on the day, I don't really want to have a ton of Marlins because I don't see a ton of upside for their offense. For the Pirates, I think they're a bit more stackable on DK than on FanDuel. I don't love the pricing as much on FanDuel. So uh, the two guys that I'd be looking to most would be Starling Marte and Josh Bell, uh, right in the heart of the order. I think they're the best combination of upside and price. Um, after that, I would get some Josh Harrison. So I would want to go a minimum three guys in this stack. And then from there, like Polanco and Corey Dickerson are fine. Uh, but Polanco, 4500 on FanDuel, same price on DK. So he's pretty overpriced on FanDuel right now. Uh, so if he's part of a stack, that's fine. Not a guy that I would want to use in a one-off scenario. And then Corey Dickerson, if you're looking to go all the way to a five-man, he's got a slugging percentage of 468. That's projected by Steamer. So he's got a little bit of pop. Uh, if you wanted to go the full five, you can do that. I would probably focus on the first four. And uh, more than anything, I would probably focus on Harrison, Marte, and Bell. Move to Mets and Brewers. Uh, Mets with a 4.2 run implied total. Brewers 4.0. Uh, it's a 52% chance to win for the Mets. Matt Harvey going for New York. Chase Anderson going for Milwaukee. Um, I don't have any interest whatsoever in Matt Harvey. Uh, I hate the price. I'm not a huge fan of him in general. And uh, Chase Anderson as well, not somebody that I'm going to be going after. The price isn't bad on FanDuel. Uh, I don't really love taking underdog pitchers on FanDuel, even if it is just a minor amount. Uh, and then on DK, he's the third most expensive pitcher. Uh, I won't touch him at all. Um, I'd be much more likely to have uh, some hitters here. Starting with the Mets, I think Conforto grades out really nicely. Gets the lefty-righty matchup. Uh, 4,000 on FanDuel, 4,700 on DK. If he slotted into the leadoff spot, uh, I think you can safely go that direction. Uh, as Drupal Cabrera uh, looks good all the time, particularly on DK, where he's actually priced $300 cheaper than on FanDuel. Um, and then you're getting into uh, Cespedes, Bruce, and Adrian Gonzalez. So... I like the top three here in a stack. Um, you know, I'm not super wild about Bruce and Gonzalez, although I do like the lefty-righty matchups. Uh, their prices aren't phenomenal for me. I think that um, if that lineup stays as it is, it's possible that they get to see, a, you know, they bring in a lefty to face them both back-to-back. -back. So pay attention to that sort of scenario uh, it could limit their uh, potential plate appearances later in the game. Um, and really, the Mets implied total, 4.2. There's nobody that has a crazy high implied total today in the late slate. So you can get to the Mets, but I don't see the value as much as I would like. Oddly enough, I think the Brewers grade out as a slightly better value for a stack, um, even though they are slight underdogs. 4.0 run, impl run implied total. Um, not too far off of the Mets. Uh, I think that you can very realistically go for anyone in the top five. And uh, if you wanted to swap out one of those guys, uh, I think dropping down the Jonathan Villar, 2,400 on FanDuel, 3,000 on DK. You know, not the most, uh, you know, not, not the most pop in the bat. Um, but as part of a stack, I think it's a direction you can go, particularly at second base. Um, my main focus here, uh, Eric Timms, 4,000 on FanDuel, 4,400 on DK. I think he uh, looks really nice on both sites. And then we need to talk a little bit about uh, Travis Shaw, particularly on DK, 3,700. Um, he's only $100 cheaper on FanDuel. I think that he grades out as a really nice value. Uh, I'd say that Ryan Braun on FanDuel, still $2,800 price point is kind of insane. I know we're not getting the righty-lefty matchup here, but to get a to get a hitter hitting third at that price with his kind of 
power, um, I'd be very interested. So no issues running a three, four, five man stack of the Brewers. Uh, I think their price points create a little bit of value that you could capitalize on. Royals and Angels. Uh, Royals 3.3 run implied total. Angels 4.2. Jake Junis going for the Royals. Garrett Richards going for the Angels. 61% chance to win for the Angels. Uh, I like Richards quite a bit on FanDuel. Second most expensive pitcher. Uh, very nice chance to get a win. Uh, I'm a big Richards fan just in general. Not a ton of fear of the Royals lineup, although they do have uh, two lefty bats in Moose Tacos and Duda that you know need to be respected from a power perspective. Uh, Richards on DK, however, 7,100. Um, I, I love him a ton. Uh, it's weird to say that he's a good second pitcher, considering he's the second most expensive guy on FanDuel, but uh, it, I'd be hard-pressed to see uh, see lineups without Richards for me on DK. He looks great, and I just can't imagine him not being one of your two pitchers. Makes it really easy to pay up for someone, like to combo with... Uh, Rich Hill, who we'll get to shortly. Uh, the Royals implied total of 3.3 really is the key to me liking, uh, to, to me wanting to roster Garrett Richards on FanDuel. Uh, it's a very nice chance for a win. I don't really want to stack any part of the Royals um, lineup. Second worst implied total of the night. Uh, I think the only options are Moose Tacos and Duda. And even then, I think that the, basically the entire team is not grading out well, so they're pretty much a hard pass for me. Angels are a team that I generally like to stack, um, but they do run very heavy righty-righty, so while I like it, it's a, it's a relatively expensive stack, not a huge ton of upside from the implied total, so if I'm doing a stack, you can go... You, on DK, you can go 1-5 to five and go Kinsler all the way down to Calhoun. Kinsler's been great in his first two games back off the DL. I mean, Mike Trout is Mike Trout. I don't love the prices of Upton or Pujols, although shout out to Pujols for being my first baseman last night and hitting a dong. I was very happy about that. And then Calhoun gets the benefit of the lefty-righty matchup. Uh, you're not paying the most of, like, It's not the most efficient stack in the world from a price point. Um, but the Angels would be a team that I would look at just because uh, of the pedigree of some of their bats. You know, it's hard to go against someone like Trout and Upton, and if you can get Kinsler, Pujols, and Cole Calhoun at a relative value, um, it's something to explore uh, on this short six-game slate. So I will definitely have uh, some bits of Angels stacks. Um, they always go really well together, so that would be my sort of... Uh, guide to the angels today Padres and Giants uh, Padres 4.2 run implied total Giants 4.1 it's a 51% chance to win for the Padres Clayton Richard uh, going for San Diego Derek Holland on the hill for the Giants um, Clayton Richard not a guy that I really want to have a ton of uh, Derek Holland, not a guy I really want to have a ton of, at least on FanDuel. Um, I think that Clayton Richard is, like, okay as a punt play pitcher. Um, although the Giants do run pretty heavy to the right side, so, you know, be prepared for that. Uh, Derek Holland, not a guy that I want whatsoever. Um I don't really love the pitching in this matchup, just from a price point. While they are in Petco, uh, it's not enough for me to want to target either of these guys. They, they don't necessarily they don't miss enough bats for me. Uh, I prefer guys that can pick up a couple more Ks. And with the the implied totals being so close to each other, neither guy is a sure bet for a win. So they don't really grade out for me well on FanDuel either. Um, I wouldn't naturally go to a Padre stack, although on FanDuel, um, I think that their price point is so low that if you're, if you've got like let's say you're rostering Jamison Tylon, I think that you can use a part of a Padre stack to save some money to pay up for some more expensive bats. So uh, like Perella, 
Looks really nice. 2800 on FanDuel, 3600 on DK. He'd be a guy I'd look at. Hunter Renfro, 2700 on FanDuel. Uh, the Padres look a lot better as a FanDuel stack than they do as a DK stack. I wouldn't go wild about it, but it's there. Now for the Giants, I think it's a very nice stack. Again, you have to be worried about um, playing in the Padres park. Not the best for hitting, uh, but you're getting the righty-lefty matchup. Uh, Giants run really heavy righty, so I really like Austin Jackson, uh, McCutcheon, Posey, Longoria, Pence. These are all guys that I'd be fine stacking up. Um, I like them a lot in a stack, and their price points are relatively low, so uh, it should allow you to do whatever you want outside of that stack, and you shouldn't have any problem grabbing uh, any of the more expensive uh, pitchers of the day. Dodgers and D-backs. Uh, Dodgers 4.1 run implied total. Uh, Diamondbacks 3.1 run implied total. Uh, that's a 62% chance to win for the Dodgers. Rich Hill on the on the hill uh, for LA. Taiwan Walker going for Arizona. Um, Rich Hill, without question, my favorite play of the day on FanDuel. Uh, grades out incredibly well. Uh, he is... I'll have the most Rich Hill of anyone on FanDuel, and I think that he is uh, the best pitcher play on DK. Um, I think Hill and Garrett Richards uh, are the best combo of two pitchers that you can get on DraftKings, and the pricing isn't even really ridiculous. You should be able to do uh, whatever you really need to do from a hitting perspective. So very, very high on Rich Hill. I don't want to touch any of uh, the Diamondbacks bats in this scenario 3.1 run implied total is dead last uh, so that most of the D-back all of the D-backs bats are just completely off my radar I do like Taiwan Walker uh, but this is just not going to be the spot for him uh, guys like Corey Seager and Cody Bellinger Yasmani Grandal uh, I, I love all three of those guys I definitely want a part of a Dodger stack uh, I, I can't imagine not having a bunch of them uh, Seager, Bellinger, and Grandal, I'll get the lefty-righty matchup. And then feel free to fill in however you can. Chris Taylor and Kemp both under 3,000 on FanDuel. Uh, I would go probably Taylor on FanDuel and Kemp on DK. A better price for Kemp on DraftKings. You could even grab Puig if you need to, particularly on FanDuel where he's only 3,000. Um, I love it. Uh, I love the Dodgers tonight. I don't mind spending up to grab any Dodgers here. And uh, yeah, Rich Hill is my ace of the day. Final game of the night, Mariners and A's. Uh, Mariners 4.3 run implied total, A's 4.2. 52% um, chance to win for uh, the Mariners. Uh, Marco Gonzalez going for Seattle. Kendall Graveman going for Oakland. Uh, I'm not looking at either of these two guys, although, yeah, no, although. I'm not looking at either of these two guys. Don't roster either of them from a pitching perspective. Now, from a hitting perspective, we can get into this. Uh, Mariners have the second highest implied total of the night behind the Pirates. Um, you know, Graveman, not a guy that misses a ton of bats. D. Gordon, Cano, Kyle Seeger all look really nice as a, in the lefty-righty matchup. You know, you can safely, if Cruz is playing, safely get Cruz or uh, Segura. I'd be perfectly fine with any three, four, or five-man stack uh, coming out of the Mariners. I'd say my favorite guy is definitely Gordon. Um, just you know, has the potential to pick up some stolen bases. Uh, and then Cano, um, upside there is, is giant, getting the lefty-righty matchup. You know, 4,000 on FanDuel, 4,600 on DK. It looks like just an exceptional second base option tonight. For the A's, uh, because of Marco Gonzalez being a lefty, I think they're a little bit more in play, particularly on DK. Uh, I really wouldn't want to go to an A's stack on FanDuel. I think they're a bit too expensive. But going semi and Chapman, Lowry, Davis, I think is a very realistic four-man stack uh, on DraftKings. Their prices are significantly better. Uh, semi and $400 cheaper on, on DK. 
Lowry $100 cheaper on DK, Chapman only $100 more, and then uh, if you're finishing that off with Chris Davis and his uh, his his power, um, I'm not as worried about the price if I'm grabbing the three guys in front of him. If you need to drop down, I think Jonathan LaCroix, uh, 2500 on FanDuel, 2900 on DK. The 2900 on DK was, is where I'd be looking. Um, getting that righty-lefty matchup, uh, you know, a, a sub-3,000 catcher. Should have some guys on in front of him. Uh, I think it's certainly worth a look. Um, that's where I'm standing for, for most of these uh, games. Let's go ahead and grab... Uh, my projections. We'll toss them into Fantasy Cruncher and see how some of those lineups come out. Whew. Lots of sports going on today. Lots of lots of basketball. Lots of uh, lots of baseball throughout the day. I would have loved to take a look at those uh, early games, but just not enough time in the day for me. And uh, I got to get primed up because I'm going to a ludicrous concert tonight, which. I bet no one was uh, fully expecting me to say out loud, <laughs> but it should be fun. Just been listening to uh, nonstop Luda for, uh, I don't know, like the past couple days. Gear back up. Alrighty, so let's add some stacks. Go four, go three. Just got the main slate. Let's crank out 50 lines and we'll see where we end up. Bre heavy Brewers. You'll see uh, a ton of Rich Hill coming out for me. Uh, sprinkle of Jamison Tylon. Uh, and then we've got just scattered guys. I would make some tweaks there. Um, Brewers and Mariners look to be the top stacks from a uh, FanDuel perspective. I was a little, I'm a little surprised by that, but we'll hop back over there just to take a look at the Brewers. Um, you know, I, like I said, Ryan Braun's price right now is insane. Anything you want to grab here is is perfectly fine. Uh, you'll see Ryan Braun being one of the highest owned guys. Uh, for me right now by using those Brewers and uh, Mariners stacks pretty naturally gets you to Trout who shows up uh, regularly here um, so those are those would be my two main stacks for the day some combination of Brewers and Mariners fill out accordingly with Rich Hill on the hill I like it a lot um, let's check out DraftKings now this should look uh, a little bit different uh, the pricing was a bit weirder so uh, let me go grab that stuff. Still haven't put all my macros and stuff into my workbook, so this is a much more manual process than I would like. That looks weird. Where are the pictures? Haha, <laughs> we're gonna have to run that again. I had a filter on. We'll hit DK first. I still have my filter on from last night. Someone was looking for like a sub, some sort of price. I don't expect this to change all that much, but it's definitely going to change. So we'll do DK and then we'll circle back and run FanDuel again. Not like I'm going to edit that out. So if you happen to shut it off after that, you made a mistake. <laughs> my bad. Look, it happens. What are you going to do? Alrighty. Bump up the rando. Change my max. We'll go 48.5. And let's do another 4 and 3 stack, which is my preference. This might not be the uh, fastest crunch ever. But, we'll be fine. Let's do 50. Let's see where we end up. Ooh, it's moving faster than I expected. So, as expected, a ton of Rich Hill, a ton of Garrett Richards are going to be the most two popular guys. 
you do naturally end up getting a lot more Jamison Tylon on DK just because you need to fill out the salary. So his ownership will be higher. I don't necessarily love it, but they will be the three main guys coming out. Um, you'll see a lot of Brewer stacks. Uh, the Dodgers stack out a little bit better uh, on DK than they do on FanDuel. And then uh, an A's stack on DK, very nice. You see Olsen, Chapman, Semi, and Chris Davis. I like that a lot. Uh, so those are sort of my focuses now on DraftKings. Um, you're going to be looking at three pitchers, Hill, Richards, and Tylon, and then stacking the Brewers. And most likely, well, that's a pretty good spread. It's Brewers and then everybody else. We'll circle back to FanDuel now and actually do this correctly. That way uh, everything looks good. Getting through this uh, baseball video pretty quick. It's not so bad when there's only six games. Let's try this again. I was wondering why some of those were, uh, were not loaded. And I was like, oh, maybe I just have... Uh, the, the exact same projections as Fantasy Cruncher rounded to two decimal points, which should have been my first sign, but it wasn't. <laughs> all right, let's try this again. FanDuel Crunch, all the settings should be fine. Um, this will look a little bit better now. And go. I don't expect many changes, but it'll be a little different. Again, a ton of Rich Hill, ton of Jamison Tyler. Well, not a ton. A ton of Rich Hill. Uh, scattered amounts of Tyler and Garrett Richards. This is exactly what I would expect for me uh, tonight. You're still getting overwhelming amount of Brewers stack. Uh, this is bringing the Dodgers into play as my sort of secondary stack. Um, Pirates are still there as well. Uh, but for me, it's looking like the Brewers are grading out as my primary stack for the day. So... Expect me to, to be leaning in that direction. Um, Ryan Braun in particular with that price point on FanDuel. Really hard to ignore. Whew. So I ripped through that pretty quick, but I wanted to make sure this got out so people can uh, digest it for the day. We'll have baseball content out. Um, FanDuel rankings, draft queen rankings, spotlight hitters, you know, spotlight stacks, spotlight pitchers. It's all going to be out there. So gobble that stuff up. Uh, check out fanduel.com slash awesomeo if you're looking to uh, play against us in the single game NBA contest and uh, best of luck tonight and you'll uh, see me in the morning bye bye